The chief medical director assured that with the facilities on ground, as well as serious supervision and care for patients, fatality rate will be minimal. He advised citizens to always visit the hospital when they have symptoms of malaria and ensure proper hygiene and sanitation, as well as avoid contacts with rodents and wild animals. We, we are treating uh, some of the patients in our isolation facility and um, yes, the incidences are there. They are from all over the states really. Majority of them are from Edo State. Um, the copper that was brought in from Asaba is doing well. He's, had his, um, he's undergoing his treatment and he's doing very well. So the casualties you sometimes see, it's those who just come in and before you can do anything, they die. But majority you may come early. The chances of survival are very high if they are properly isolated and properly managed. And that's what we are seeing in many instances. And since we know it's transmitted to humans by rats, mm -hmm. then we have to do a lot to prevent rats to human contact. Disease is spread from the excrements of the, um, the rats, the ones we call the multi mammoth rats. The, their excrements in terms of their feces, the blood, the urine, if they contaminate the food that human feed then they can get the infection. The chief medical director thanked the Edo State Government for donating dialysis machine to the hospital and observed that cases of Lassa fever are usually on the increase during the dry season. Himbeni Filomena Ogbebo, NTA News.